Bricklayers, or staggered perimeters, started to gain some traction about 18 months ago, when the community started releasing G-code post-processors, where you could run a post-processing script on the standard slicer-generated G-code to modify it before sending it to the printer. For the hardcore 3D printing community, this was more than enough to start to get this technique out there. However, in the last six months or so, this has started to be integrated into the core features of many mainstream slicers, such as Bamboo Studio, Prusa Slicer, and Orca Slicer, opening this technique up to almost anyone with a filament 3D printer. For this testing, so to be as efficient as possible with the testing, let's do a quick recap of the results of the previous testing I did. Let's start at the basic ambient 0.02 bar pressure tests, where the print is about 20 centimeters below the surface. ASA is already much better than PLA, 3mm seems to be better than 2mm hull thickness, and a smaller nozzle of 0.4mm seems to do better than a 0.8mm nozzle, as well as random seams, trumping, aligned seams. Even without using brick layers, the ASA samples are completely watertight at 0.02 bar, so it's going to be difficult to see any improvements of brick layers at ambient pressure. How about 2 bar? At 2 bar, all of the ASA samples, including those smooth with acetone, took on a significant amount of water. Let's start the testing at 2 bar to see if brick layers can improve the waterproofness any further. I'm going to use ASA, together with a 3mm hull thickness, random seams, and no change to the standard extrusion flow multiplier together with stagger perimeters enabled, aka brick layers. So the dry test hull weighs in at 97 grams. Let's set up the test rig and get testing. Now let's add some pressure and we're off. Let's take out the hull. Oh dear, can you hear the ominous slushing noise? Let's do the weigh in. Okay, it looks like it's taken on only three grams of water, which is about 10% as much as the best uncoated sample I tested last time. How exciting is that?